work in watercolour and watercolour and pencil on a good French paper and I first of all start with cartridge paper and make a design of the plant and get its stance and work out uh, the different parts of the plant and often I do uh, sections with a microscope uh, to know how the uh, flowers are made. You know, the little flowers are sometimes so small that you can only see them in great detail with a microscope. And so you learn a lot about the flower doing the analysis first. Uh, and then I transfer, I don't transfer it, but I do the drawing onto a good French watercolour paper in pencil, rather delicately and then I paint it in watercolour. Everything's done while the plant is alive, so I have to work very quickly. People think I take ages because it's so uh, detailed, but in fact it's just very hard work and I have to be with the plant. I don't go from one plant to another and then go back again. I stay with the plant while it's alive. And uh, so... Uh, so do you find that some plants take a bit longer than others to capture? Oh, they, yes, they do, because some, for instance, if you're drawing a pine, it would take a long, lot longer time than some very simple little lily. So you can never say how long they take. It's very hard, but it's certainly no more than a few days, because I have to work with the thing while it's alive. And um, they have to be worked at in different ways. You can't lay down rules for drawing flowers because sometimes the leaves go before the flowers and the flowers before the leaves. So sometimes you have to concentrate and get the flowers done first or the leaves. But certainly you need a working drawing in case the leaves have started to sag and you would lose the whole stance of the flower and, the, and um, it wouldn't look right. And very often um, you have to uh, take care of the plant. The shrubs and trees, for instance, uh, are usually hanging down when you pick them on the branch. And so to make them natural, you have to have them hanging down in front of you and with their woody stems out of water, of course. So I usually crush the stems and plunge them into the end of the stem into boiling water to expel the air and then the water goes in where the uh, cells have, you know, where the air cells have been and that makes a reservoir and that of course will keep the plant alive much longer. I, we also bring the things back in the afternoon from our collecting and I never work on them straight away because they're usually feeling rather tired after a long journey and I put them, I do that, I uh, put them into boiling water, the ends of the crushed stems, and put them into a lot of water inside a bucket, and then put it into the bath with the shower curtain across to make a little uh, greenhouse for it. And that, I find, um, restores the plants much better than any other way. And in the morning, they are much, much better, and they're ready to be drawn. And, uh, 